We're here with Caleb Durward, who is sitting at uh, X and 1 after 12 rounds, three rounds on day two, with uh, an interesting take on blue-green madness. Caleb, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're playing and uh, how you came up with it? Uh, well, I was testing a lot of um, decks to hold the Survival and Vengevine engine. It seemed really powerful, um, but with a lot of decks, like cramming it, cramming those eight cards and make the rest of the deck not flow very well. And I finally came around to running the Mongrels, Aquamibas. I really wanted to run Forces and Days because it just helps out against the bad decks, whatnot. Like, you get a lot of just wins by being playing blue. So, uh, so yeah, once I had that, like, I, I was getting hands that didn't have survival, but I'd have Wild Mongrel, a Baskin Rootwall, and some number of Vengevines. And twice against Merfolk today, I've had like a Mongrel or an Aquamoeba, this, and two Vengevines, and just turn two attacking for eight is pretty insane. It's, it's like kicking a puppy, it's very satisfying. Um, I, I got a big breakthrough when I, when I looked at Roland Chang's legacy winning deck, because that's when I started playing with Stifles, Wastelands, and Jitties. And Jitties just make like Aquamoeba look like a good creature, which is pretty insane. Uh, the one of Guy's Cradle gives you some really explosive draws. I mean, you've got free creatures, so it's pretty nuts. Noble Hierarch is pretty great for the deck. Uh, the Predators were a, a metagame call. I expected a lot of counterbalance in like, some random stacks decks. Plus, it pitches to both Force of Will and Survival, which is pretty important. And it's got flying, so it carries a jitty pretty well. All right, now I heard you uh, in one of the feature matches yesterday uh, mention that Pretend Wild Mongrel is a, is a good creature. <laughs> what did you mean by that? I mean, Wild Mongrel is playable in the context of Vengevine. Like, Vengevine is much better than Arrogant Worm. Uh, and that's an Arrogant Worm is why people were playing Wild Mongrel back in the day. So, yeah. Like, like when you get a Vengevine out on turn... The Arrogant Worm comes out on turn 3 and attacks for 4 Trample the next turn. This comes out on turn two and attacks right then, so it's two turns quicker, and recurs, and you can fetch out multiples of them. It's it's just insane. All right. So what are uh, what are your good matchups? Um, I think one of the reasons I played this is because I wanted something to beat both Merfolk and Zoo, because I expected them to be the most heavily played decks, and I didn't want to just outright lose to combo. And I, I think I think this is pretty successful at that. Uh, the countertop decks can go either way, like I've got main deck hate for them, and then if I resolve a survival against most of the field, it's pretty much game over. What are your worst matchups? I, I don't know. Like, my, my one loss was to countertop Thopter, which I didn't have that much chance to play against. I think the, the combo deck with, like, or not the combo, the control deck with Pernicious Deeds main deck might be bad because they can, like, hit the survival and the bench vines and just actually reset me. Like, if you just get rid of the bench vines, I can, I can bring them back by fetching up a couple of root walls, but get rid of the survival too, it's pretty, it's pretty decent. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't played against it though, so... Alright. Now, tell me about the sideboard. Um, the cross and grips are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I, I saw Shapen talking about them earlier, so I won't say too much. The spell pierces have been insane all day. There's a lot of decks that run... I think in Legacy, decks are running either a lot of creatures or a critical mass of spells and against the, the spells deck I mean you just take out the duties and bring in spell pierces and, it, and it's pretty great um, the combo decks the control decks pretty much everybody uh, I know PV and LSV are running a really man mana hungry uh, countertop deck that I'm hoping they're good against because you like counter a Jace for one mana or what it seems good um, the graveyard hate's a little lackluster I wanted something I could tutor up with survival so that's why the fairy macabs are there even though they're really only good against dredge when they like play a breakthrough or something and only have a treasure or two in the graveyard. And then the Wheel of Sun and Moons uh, I'm using instead of crypts because a lot of the time I just want to like slow them down out of the game, slow them down. And then and, and they're expecting crypts. Like I've seen a lot of Hiding Needle name crypt and then they're just able to get back into it. Whereas Wheel of Sun and Moon, even if they bounce it, you can cast it next turn basically just to slow them down. Uh, the submerges have been insane all day long. They're insane against Zoo. If Merfolk is flashing green for Tarmogoyf, they're insane. They're just fantastic. Right? 
Now, one of the plays you talked about in your last feature match was wanting to submerge your own root wallet to make sure you had a second creature to Vengevine. Have you had to do that yet? No. No, that's the first. That's, there's, there's been a lot of firsts. That was the first time I'd ever wanted to submerge my own creature. I thought about it pretty hard, too, because I would have had two Vengevines out that turn, but denying him a draw step was pretty great as well. Yep, and he didn't it's, recast that Lava Mancer either. No, he didn't cast that Lava Mancer that turn. Okay. Um, now, are, th are there any changes you would have made to the deck, having played it this long now? Um, well, I never played against Dredge, so obviously the wheels and the fairies are going to look a lot worse. Uh, I board out a one of Aquamoeba a lot in a lot of matchups, but I think overall it's a solid main deck card. Um, three Trigon Predators might be necessary, two might be fine. I don't know what you would replace them with, though. Alright, cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you.